Welcome to the iGET concept module about the importance of ground truthing remotely sensed data. I am Susanna Walter from Utah Valley University, and this presentation is part of the iGET project, which is funded by the National Science Foundation. Today, remotely sensed imagery is obtained from a variety of platforms and used in numerous ways. Broadly, the primary ways to capture imagery are from satellites, airborne flights via planes or helicopters, a wide range of types of unmanned aerial systems, and ground photography via a handheld or a pole-mounted camera. The type of data you use for analysis depends on the research question being asked or the feature being monitored, because that determines the types of spatial, spectral, radiometric, and temporal resolution that is needed, and therefore how the data is captured. Remotely sensed imagery is used for classification and analysis of a variety of features. Many different fields and industries use remotely sensed imagery, and there are many examples of the types of research undertaken using remote sensing. Here, I list a few related to the physical and earth sciences. One common use shown here is the classification of land cover to identify specific areas, such as those suitable for forest cover. The next example demonstrates the use of remote sensing imagery to classify land cover, in this case, snow depth and vegetation. Finally, creating digital elevation models, or DEMs, and comparing them over different time periods enables us to measure and monitor changes in land surface elevation, otherwise known as DEM differencing or change detection. While we often use data obtained by someone else, an agency or otherwise, from somewhere else, remotely, a very important aspect of using remotely sensed data is ground truthing. This involves spending time on the ground at the location of interest, gathering information that is used in calibrating and interpreting the remotely sensed imagery or data. This includes taking a variety of types of measurements, GPS points, identifying certain types of vegetation, or other features, etc. The ground observations are essential in supporting and enhancing the quality and accuracy of the remotely sensed data. This includes verifying analyses made remotely and training the computer on certain features or sites to improve classification. It also includes evaluating accuracy of the data and the analyses made from the data of your project. Collecting information on the ground can both confirm assessments made using remote sensing software and or help to develop standards of the spectral signature of features. Ultimately, ground truthing is an integral part of using remote sensing data and is critical in creating and maintaining the use of high quality data while benefiting from the potential of reduced costs and time expenditures to obtain the data and the increased extent of data coverage. For more information about remote sensing and the iGET project, see the links included here. In the last five slides, I have included comprehension questions, their answers, additional resources, and references to all of the images and the examples used. Thank you for watching.